It was the third hour. The Jewish day began at six o'clock. So it was nine in the morning when they crucified him. And in Matthew 27, it says, when they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. They stripped him of his clothes to humiliate him. They turned their backs on him and began shooting dice for his clothes. In Luke 23, when well, they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. They always put the worst defender in front and center, adding to his shame. John 19, there they crucified him with two others, one on each side and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had prepared a notice and fastened to the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. That was because the Jews were from all over, were there for the Passover festival. The chief priests of the Jews protested to Pilate, do not write the king of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. I feel like Pilate was saying, I found no fault with him, but he didn't protest and plead. He left with dignity. He was more of a king than what you deserved. Now we like to think that if we were there, we would have tried to do something, start a protest, petition and plead with Pilate, or at least be there to weep at the foot of the cross. We like to think that we would try to be a hero and take a stand for Jesus. But instead, I have to be honest with myself. I was with the soldiers ignoring Jesus and still playing my selfish games. How humiliating for him that I wouldn't acknowledge what he was doing for me when my sins were heaped on him with all the others. And I was right there with the Pharisees when I didn't accept him as my king and savior. When you consider that through the ages we have condemned these men for what they did, I should be condemned right along with them. But when I finally accepted him, even after all that, he forgave me instead. Heavenly Father, thank you for Christ's sacrifice on the cross so that all who believe on him might be saved and that by believing on his name, we are redeemed. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.